Wayne Tebow is an American pop art painter based out of California. He recently uh, turned 100 years old, and over his long career, he has become well-known and really appreciated for his paintings of various foods, generally. Most of his work consists of still lives. A still life is a picture of objects. It is a collection of things. And the things that Tebow typically focused on were pies, cakes, ice cream sundaes, cupcakes, donuts, um, you know, hot dogs, things that we would we would put into the category of pop culture foods. Pop culture is essentially, it's the common culture. It's the things we see and interact with on a regular basis. So the foods that he is painting are not exotic foods that like only specialized chefs can prepare. He is he is painting pictures of the kinds of desserts or foods that would be served in a diner anywhere in the country or that we would see in any sort of bakery. Like I said, it's cakes, cupcakes, pies, hot dogs, those types of things are the subject matter for his work. And what people like about that work is it is familiar to them. Everybody has some sort of connections to it, whether it's your favorite food or not, you recognize it instantly, and they are things that all of us can relate to. Now, for this week's project, we're going to be making a still life drawing in the style of Wayne Tebow. So I'm going to draw a slice of cake. I started off with a vertical line down the middle, a V shape at the bottom of that, a V shape at the top of that, and then... Um, to close it out, I made an arc at the top, an arc across the top, and and vertical lines on the left and right. After that, I'm going to break up the, the shapes on the sides to separate the frosting and the filling from the layers of cake. I put a cherry on top, and I put the, the slice of cake on a plate, and I want to break up the space in the background with essentially a horizon line showing where the edge of the table would be so I can see sort of what the surface it is sitting on. After I've sketched everything with pencil, I'm going to outline with Sharpie. Uh, you do not have to outline with Sharpie or any other marker. Um, the reason that I do outline is partially it really just helps to make it stand out on um, on these videos in particular. The advantage to outlining things is it makes it pop, it pulls it forward in the picture plane. The disadvantage to outline things is it makes it look a little flatter, a little bit more cartoonish. Now, I'm going to try to add a little bit of value. I want to think about different techniques I can use to add shading or add shadows. So using the Sharpie, I'm making some hatching lines, some lines to emphasize where the shadows would be. More lines closer together is going to make it look a little bit darker. Spacing out the lines, showing more of the white of the paper is going to make it look like a lighter value. Another technique that I can use is um, using other media like crayons. If I press harder in some areas, it's going to get a bolder, more intense, and often a slightly darker value. Whereas if I'm more gentle, more of the white of the paper is going to show through that crayon, and it's going to make it a lighter value. So you'll notice on the left side of my slice of cake, I'm pressing a little bit harder, making those colors a little bit darker. And on the right side, I am being more gentle to, to let more of the white of the paper show through, creating a lighter value. That helps to create a, an effect of essentially a highlight and shadow to make it look a little bit more 3D. Another technique that I can use is blending colors. One of the things I really like about crayons is the way I can layer and blend colors to create a little bit more depth to that color, but also layering and blending helps me to, to change the value, to make it lighter or darker. Mixing in or layering in a lighter color, like yellow is going to lighten it. Layering in a darker color, um, like a black in some areas, is going to darken it. Now, as always, I need to be mindful that every inch of my paper is a part of my drawing, so every inch of it should be colored to the best of my abilities. I don't want to just color that slice of cake. I want to think about the negative space, too. 
Now, as always, you do not have to copy my example. I would recommend that you take some elements of it. Think about the way that I was layering and blending colors and adding values, adding those shadows to make it look a little bit more 3D and realistic. But I would think about what subject matter you want. For this project, I want you to create a still life of some sort of food. It could be any food that you want. It doesn't have to be junk food like a piece of cake. You could make yours a piece of broccoli. The idea is to focus on food because it is something that we all can connect to. So maybe make a still life drawing of your favorite food. But as you're doing that, try to focus on how you can make it look 3D, make it look more realistic by showing multiple sides to it and by creating the shadows to show the values.